In today's episode, we'll be telling you about controls and optimization of the mobile version. We'll also be telling you about the new year event in Tanky Online and announcing a crazy frosty weekend. Hello Tankers! In the last vlog, we announced a new rugby mode in Tanky Online. You might have noticed the mode didn't come out this week, and maybe it'll be released next week. Right now, we want to show you what the ball will look like. Unlike the flag, the ball is a 3D object. It comes down onto the middle of the field on a parachute, and once captured, the ball is placed above the tank. One more thing to clarify, rugby is not a holiday event. It is a completely new mode, and it will stay in the game after the holidays. Tanky on smartphones. This is a huge topic, and we'll have much more to share in the future. Today we'll tell you about the controls and how we optimize the mobile version. From the start of the development of the mobile version of Tanky, we knew that using Flash for smartphones and tablets is a bad idea. There's a reason why all Apple gadgets don't support Flash. It's all about the number of required resources, and consequently, heavy lags occur. First tests confirmed this theory. At that moment, we made the decision to port Tanky Online on HTML5. And from the first working demo, we started testing it on mobile. In the end, we managed to optimize mobile version, but not everyone has best Samsung Galaxy phones to play it on. Practice showed that even HTML5 doesn't provide comfortable FPS on medium-level devices. This is why we're working on a special client for phones and tablets. First tests are planned for the end of January, and of course, we'll share the results with you. Now, controls. Right now, in the game, there are two control schemes. Keyboard with a mouse and only keyboard. Mobile devices are a fully third way to control the game. And each option has its pros and cons. Best arguments for playing with a keyboard are these. Precision and control of your shooting. Disadvantages. Players can only look around with the speed of the turret rotating. And camera goes up and down using separate keys. And it also takes lots of time to execute. Now the option keyboard plus mouse. Here you can quickly look around and moving the mouse forward and backward changes the angle of the camera in a small range. Disadvantages. You have to constantly check the position of the turret and it adds extra time to aim, which impacts your precision in real battles. Shaft excluded. And about mobiles. Here we have two huge disadvantages. First, you have less feedback control in your tank with the touch screen. And second, you basically need to relearn everything. But there are pros too. You can choose how to control the camera based on the turret. It can follow the turret, as on the keyboard, or to be freely moving around, like with the mouse. Also, using a fast swipe, you can quickly raise or lower the camera, and rotating your hull can be smoother, meaning you can turn bit by bit. Can you play like a pro on the phone? Yes, it's just a matter of getting used to the controls. Video of the week. Last time, we asked you to record a solo parkour video in space mode. It was very hard to choose the winner, but there can only be one. Congratulations to the last winning video of 2017. Next time, make a holiday tree out of tanks and send us the video. Here's a couple of examples from the Vlog crew. All tankers from the winning team will get 5 gold boxes and 2 containers. So make it special, take your time and see you in 2018. Finally, the big New Year event has come to Tanky, with everything you ever wanted for the holidays. Let's start with the holiday map. It's not an absolutely new map. It's made with the forest map as a base and has new placements for gold drops and holiday trees. You can play on the holiday map by pressing play in the lobby or choosing from the battle list. Daily missions. This time we've decided to change all missions to holiday missions. They are harder, but the rewards are also bigger. And now for discounts. They start on Saturday already, on December 23rd, with a sale in the shop. Discounts will be anywhere between 20 and 50%. After the discounts in the shop, discounts in the garage will start with. All turrets will be 50% off on Monday, December 25th. Next comes all hulls, modules, alterations, paints, 
micro upgrades with 50% for each level and 70% on speeding up the upgrades. 50% discount on supplies and gifts has already started and will continue until January 1st. Don't miss your chance to upgrade your whole garage with such amazing discounts. Double Battle Funds – they will be active on December 30th and January 6th, so don't stay away too long. Also remember, Double Battle Funds are active only in regular, non-pro battles. December 31st is the perfect time to catch gold boxes, and the holiday map will have a lot of them. For one day only, gold boxes on the holiday map will drop 10 times more often. And now for something special – containers. They are returning to the game. From the morning restart on Sunday, December 24th, and until the end of the holiday break, in all regular battles instead of gold boxes, there's a chance for holiday containers to drop. This doesn't apply to gold box supplies dropped by players, only to random drops on the maps. Containers themselves have changed a little since Black Friday as well. Now they have big packs of crystals, supplies, gold boxes, premium, and more rare paints like the new animated paint Holiday Lights. Frosty Weekend is close. This Saturday and Sunday, get ready to crush your enemies while following the standard Crazy Weekend rules. Destroy enemy tanks in regular, non-pro battles and win prizes. Three holiday containers for making 400 kills. Five containers and three days of premium for destroying 800 enemies. And for reaching 2000 kills, you will get 10 containers, five days of premium and protection module Kodiak TA. Also, from among those who destroyed more than 800 enemy tanks, two winners will be selected to receive Dream Tanks. On Wednesday, December 20th, we launched a special New Year contest, and for the first time, you are deciding who will win. Until December 29th, follow the link in the description below the video and vote for the best tankers of the year in six categories. Best Esports Clan Best Parkour Club Best Artist Best Writer Best Video Maker Best Tanky Player On Saturday, December 30th, we will announce the winners on the forum, and top three votes in each category will receive special prizes – crystals, premium and containers. But that's not all. All tankers who submit their votes will be eligible for a special giveaway. On December 30th, we will also randomly pick 20 lucky tankers to get an additional bonus prize – one container and one day of premium each. Check the full rules for Tanky Awards 2017 via the link in the description. About a month ago, our Polish community started registration for a local tournament called Frosty Trio. Players had to group with three people and fight against other trio teams. Last weekend, the final livestream determined the best trio team – Evil Panda Squad. They won 180,000 crystals and the Scandinavia paint. Second place went to team KSW Squad and third place to Team Mods Knobs. Congratulations to all participants and of course to the winners! Do you like hearing about worldwide events in the vlog? Let us know in the comments! That's it for today's episode! Next week there will be no vlog as vlog is going on a vacation, but check the forum for any surprise streams! The winners of the codes contest will be posted on the forum next week. Good luck finding the final code in this episode and don't forget to enter the 15 seconds to new year contest! Happy Holidays and an even happier New Year, tankers! Bye! Last week, Twins was shooting at Railgun, and you had to guess how many shots it will take to destroy Railgun. And the right answer is… 17. Welcome the winners, and here's the new question.